Hi, so we are discussing about designing learning systems. So today we are going today we are going to discuss about choosing a function approximation algorithm, right? So we 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 have learned that approximation is necessary because capital V has changed to VWAR. So VWAR is the approximation function, and uh, so we have to understand how to choose a function uh, approximation algorithm, right? So in order to learn, in order to learn the target function V cap, we require a set of training examples, each describe, describing a specific board state B. Okay, this is the board state B, and the training value V train V. So this is the training value V train B. Training value V train V for B. Okay. So B is the state, board state. Uh, in other words, each training example is an ordered pair of the form this V and V train B. Okay. For instance, the following training example describes a board state B, small b, in which Black has owned the game. Uh, uh, black has owned the game and uh, for which the target function value v train b is therefore plus 100 so target function uh, value v train b is plus 100 and this is uh, follow these are the instances this is the instance of the uh, training example so these are all training example okay training example where training examples so x1 is 3 x2 is 0 x3 is 1 x4 is 0 x5 is 0 x6 is 0 x6 is 0 okay and then the the value is plus 100 the training v train value is plus 100 okay this is one examples okay so now we are going to de uh, describe a procedure that first derives such training example from the indirect training experience available in, uh, to the learner then adjust the weights wi to best fit these training examples okay so next is uh, estimating the training values okay estimating the training value so let us rub it So 4.1 estimate estimating training values estimating training values okay so here it is actually uh, it is actually uh, we have it is easy to assign a value to board state that correspond to the end of the game it is less obvious how to assign training training values uh, to the more numerous intermediate board state that occurred before the game's end and uh, eventually uh, the fact that the game was own or lost does not necessarily indicate that every board state along the game path was successfully uh, game game path was necessarily good or bad for example even if the program loses the game it will still be the case that board state occurring early in the game should be rated very highly and that the cause of the loss was a subsequent poor move okay so this, despite this all ambiguity inherent in estimating training values uh, for intermediate board states, one simple approach that has been found to be successful and that approach is um, assign the training value of V train B for any intermediate board state small b to be Vwar successor of B. Okay, So we have to assign this V train b for any intermediate board state so this approach is to assign the training value of v train b for any intermediate board state 
B to be successor no, to be intermediate board state B so B V train B for any intermediate board state intermediate board state B to be V cap successor B where V cap is the learner's current approximation to V okay so V cap is the learner current approximation to V okay. uh, where successor B denotes the next board state of uh, successor B denotes the next board state following B for which it is again the programs run to move okay so this rule for estimating training values can be summarized as finally rule for training rule for estimating training value training value values v train b v cap successor b okay so while it may seem strange to use the current version of v cap to estimate training values that will be used to refine this very same function notice that we are using estimates of the value of the successor v uh, successor b to estimate the value board uh, board state b intuitively we can uh, see this will make sense if v cap tends to be more accurate for board states closer to the game's end okay so and th and then second point is adjusting the weights okay Second point is adjusting the weights. So second point, four point two, is adjusting the weights. Okay, so. Uh, one common approach is to define the best hypothesis or or, or set of weights as much uh, as that which minimize the squared error e between the training values and the values predicted by the hypothesis v cap so we have to calculate the error e uh, such that we have to get the difference between v train actual value v train b minus v cap b okay and then square of it so this is called squared uh, error e okay so and then this will go uh, for the all training examples right so belong to training examples training examples and here it is nothing but uh, for all right v train b so belongs to training is all for all training examples this has to be calculated so this is the error squared error right so this is actual training and this is the predicted by the hypothesis v cap okay mm. Now this uh, error has to be minimized, right? This error has to be minimized. Uh, for that, um, several algorithms are known for finding weights of a linear function that minimize uh, E defined in this way. We, in our case, we require an algorithm that 
will incrementally refine the weights as new training examples uh, become available and that will robust to errors in this estimated training values one such, one such example is lms list one such example is lms training rule List means square algorithms. Okay, one such example is list mean list means square algorithm training rule. For each observed training example, it adjusts the weight, adjusts the weights a small amount in the direction that redu reduces the error on this training example. And we can discuss it later on. And for that we have uh, so uh, we have a LMS weight update rule. That LMS weight update rule can also be. I can show you LMS. So LMS weight update rule. So LMS weight update rule for each training examples. that is b comma v train v use the current weight use the current use the current weight to calculate v cap b and for each weight wi update it as wi is equal to wi plus learning rate into v train b minus v cap b into xi the training examples okay so we have to update the weights okay and uh, we have to minimize the error these two things we have to remember right uh, so let's go to the next uh, so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching